Hi everyone, welcome back. It's my AK Swedish Whiskey Girl. I'm finally back. <laughs> I apologize for the slight absence these past two weeks. I have not been well, but I am back now, which is also why this video is delayed. So tonight I'm gonna tell you <laughs> or announce my top whiskey of 2021, which is always exciting and always super, super difficult to choose. Because it's, I mean, I am very, very fortunate that I get to try so many different whiskies and so many lovely ones. I mean, I feel like maybe I should have just done categories, so like top international whiskey, top bourbon, all that, but then I want to keep it simple. If you are interested in seeing categories or something, let me know in the comments below. Either just let me know a category you would like answered and I'll try and answer it, or if maybe next year we should do categories instead. But this year, we are just announcing it. <laughs> so I have actually chosen this one because this is a whiskey I have come, come back to several times during the year. And my whiskey of the year is slightly niche, but I have also chosen one that is more widely available. Also a whiskey that I've tried several times and I've thought to myself, do you know what? This is a great whiskey. <laughs> so I was like, when I thought about what I wanted to pick, these two popped up. And when I'd chosen my my true one, then Cody said maybe you should do the other one as well. Um in case someone would like to give it a go. And I know one of them isn't widely available, so that's what we're doing. I also want to do some honourable mentions because <laughs> I can't just pick one. There's been so many good whiskies and I mean, the other week I was lucky enough to try the 48 year old Johnny Walker, the Masters of Flavour, and did the tasting with gin beverage. I mean, that was a great night. <laughs> He's super lovely, I got to speak about sheep with him and that was a great whiskey, really really good. And also, I mean, I got to try the 50 year old uh, Glen uh, Glenglassa. I was like, how do I pronounce this again? Glenglassa, which was also fabulous. Um, one whiskey I almost chose as my whiskey of the year was Glencaddon 15. And I felt like I couldn't because Cody's just started working for them. So I was like, if I pick them, it might just look like Cody's bought my, <laughs> my opinions, which absolutely isn't the case. I just think it's a great whiskey. So I almost chose that one. Do want to give it an honourable mention. Also want to give an honourable mention to this, Lindor's Abbey. They're um, single malt, released their first release recently. And that is the, the first release from a whiskey. I've tried quite a few in the past two years. Um, the distilleries have just become of age and releasing whiskey and this one from Lindor's Abbey is the one that caught my heart the quickest. I tried it and I went, I love this, this is great. So really excited to see what they're going to do in the future as well and I am thinking of doing a <laughs> review video on this soon so if you're curious to see that let me know in the comments. But on to the main event. I love the chat and I feel like I haven't chatted to you guys in ages <laughs> so I just want to sit here and talk, 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 talk. Maybe we should do a live soon so I can just chat um, because being ill and staying in bed for days or almost weeks <laughs> isn't really my strong point and I don't think it's really anyone's but on to the main event let's stop chatting. Um, I'm gonna start with the one that I want to choose as my whiskey of the year 2021 and that is a whiskey that I personally came into contact with through a collaboration through a wonderful person called Emma, <laughs> who sent me these bottles, uh, and it is the Aberlour 14 from the Distillery Reserve Collection. It is a single cask edition, it's an ex bourbon first pull barrel. So it's at 57%, and it's delicious. That's why I have it in my glass here as well. <laughs> and it's just that kind of juicy, bourbony goodness that I have really marked like 2020 and 2021 in a year it's something that i've just really loved and every time we've had friends over and we haven't had friends over that often but 
this has been the one that kind of I've been reaching for so that's the whiskey of the year 2021 but I also chose another whiskey and like I said I've tried this on several occasions it actually uh, appeared in the advent calendar and I didn't know it was coming um, and I also tried it in bars and every time I tried it I just thought to myself this is good whiskey <laughs> and the one I have chosen is Talisker 10 I have my 10 little bottle and I don't have much left so I might need to buy a new bottle soon and another Talisker I really like is the Talisker Port Rhee but the 10 has popped up unexpectedly throughout the year and I haven't really given it much thought until I did the advent calendar review tried it and, I was, and then when I looked at it I was like I, I like this whiskey and yeah this is of course a little bit more widely available than this one which is or was a distillery exclusive until we did the collaboration when they actually started selling them online but they're quite different but both great whiskies and looking at them I'm really happy with my choices but I would love and I'm so curious to hear yours. I've had the tough choice to choose something which hasn't been easy and I've thought about it so much. I've even woken up in the middle of the night being like, hmm, is this the right choice? But I would love to hear your whiskey of the year. You can choose one or you can choose how many, however many you want, really. But let me know which one has been your whiskey of the year 2021 and why. I'd love to hear it, so please put it in the comments here below. And I have lots of things planned for the coming year, so I hope you will stick around. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd be thrilled if you want to join us. If you have been here for a while, I'm so happy you're still here. <laughs> but I will try not get unwell, and I'll try to post a little bit more frequently. Um, that's the plan anyways. And I'll try to let you know if there's any ch change to that, but it shouldn't be. And yeah, 2021 was a great weird year of whiskey. I got to go to space, I got to go to Iowa. Wonderful. And I actually have a whiskey journey or a whiskey, what's it called? A whiskey trip coming up soon again. So stick around for that. But I hope you have all had a great start to 2022. I hope you will have lots of nice drums in the coming year. Yeah, Slendjava Skoll. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>